YouTube, this is Quake from Next Gen Windows, and today I'm going to show you guys the Windows Phone 7.8 update for my Samsung Focus Flash. You can see this is the lock screen, nothing different that you see straight up. Sorry for the focusing. Uh, when we take a look closer at it, when we unlock it, you can see already that I am, am on the start screen, and it, you can see it does look like Windows Phone 8 start screen. One thing that I want to uh, let everyone know is that the gutter that everyone's been wondering about that's been, that was right about you know this uh right side of the screen is not there anymore now it's a gutter at the bottom of the screen so the tiles don't actually go all the way to the bottom uh the arrows actually at the very bottom so if you tap it you can go to the menu or you can just swipe left and right that is just one quick thing that i wanted to let everyone know whether you have windows phone 8 or you have this current uh windows phone 7.8 another thing that i wanted to let everyone uh, look at is this is the new start screen for Windows Phone 7 devices, Windows Phone 7.8 to be exact, and along with it, not many slew of new features. Only few new features is obviously you can resize your tiles, so you can see the messaging app. You can resize the tile to three different sizes. Not every application allows you to do that. It depends on whether the developer allows you to. Uh, resize their tile. The phone application also allows you to resize it, but I'll just keep it this small one. People one allows you to do the same thing. The Zoom application actually does allow you to do the same thing too. So that's if you like to listen to a lot of music, you might want to make it very big like this, but I'll just keep it small. Another thing, if you have a Samsung phone, uh, the tile itself won't uh, the tile itself is a little wonky when you resize it. When you make it to the regular tile size from the Windows Phone uh, 7, 5, or 7, uh, it actually uh, cuts off the weather uh, info. So when you can see that, you can't see what temperature it is outside anymore, but you can see that more uh, stuff is there on the right. But when you resize it to the smallest one, it's similar to the icon on the menu. And then you can make it big again. And then also another thing you can do is uh, you'll see is the Xbox games application, it has changed. Now it's an Xbox controller icon similar to Windows Phone 8. Uh, unfortunately, there's really nothing uh, different on it. So let's take a look inside. There's nothing really uh, different that changed on it. It's the same application. You can still see your Xbox Live information and stuff in the spotlight. So when we go back, you can see that. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, take a look deeper in. You can resize the Internet Explorer application to make it uh, whatever size C fit. Uh, it can only have two sizes because obviously there would be really no point in wasting a lot of space making it a full rectangle. Um, let's a few other applications that do the same thing. Calendar, you can resize it all three ways. It still tells you the date through all of them. Skype, unfortunately, does not. It only allows you to make it small. And this is actually MetroTube. Uh, this one only allows you to make it small. It doesn't have, it doesn't yet have the Windows Phone 8 functionality that makes allow you to make it the largest size tile. But aside from that, that's pretty much all the new things in the start screen. You know, aside the resizing of tiles and everything. And then when we move on to the uh, the menu, nothing really changed here. Uh, sure, when you want, if you want to search, you can search. It's always been there. And then you can type in whatever it is. So. For instance, I'm going to go show you guys things in the settings. So when we want to search for settings, tap settings, and we're there now. So first things first is the Bing wallpapers. Uh, you can now make your lock screen wallpaper a Bing uh, image of the day. So when we go to the Bing image of the day, where is it? Um, I'm having a brain fart moment. Where is it? I probably just missed it, but I'm not looking closely right now. There you go, lock and wallpaper. When we go into lock and wallpaper, it in fact, uh, you click on the window button. Let me let it focus a little bit. You can click on the window button and it'll tell you, uh, the wallpaper button, and it'll tell you whether, whether you want the Bing wallpaper or the uh, regular picture wallpaper that you choose on your own. And another quick thing that I wanted to show everyone was, uh, if you didn't know already, this was a feature that was in all the past Windows Phone versions. You can allow the artist, your artist, to show on your, um, to show on the lock screen. So if you're playing a certain artist, let me scoot the phone back up. 
you're playing a certain artist, you can allow him it to search, uh, uh, show up on the lock screen. That way, you can see what artist you're listening to. You can see their picture, in fact. And another feature on Windows Phone 7.8, a major feature. I won't actually go into the little tiny details, like the little changes that happen. These are just the major things that you can see visually. Another feature that you can change aside from the wallpaper is also that you can, uh, in fact, change your theme. Uh, you already knew you can change the theme, but now you have more accent color choices. I think you have about 20 here. Uh, so these are all the choices you have now. Instead of them listing what color they were in like a word and then telling you the color, now you have a choice of just a grid of colors and you can just change them whenever you want. So if we want to choose this bright yellow color, we can choose it. Of course you can make it light or dark. And then let's, let's just change it to light. This was already a feature there, but the accent colors wasn't. And then when we go back, you see we have a bright yellow color that's actually making the camera hard at focusing. But you can do that, and it's just a cool thing that now you have more choices to customize. Hopefully this will prolong the use of Windows Phone 7 devices, 7 series devices, and all the way up till when people can finally upgrade to Windows Phone 8. You know, like those of us, including me, that I got my phone about a year ago, or two, almost two years ago, uh, coming December. Uh, and I couldn't, once Windows Phone 8 was announced last year, I was pretty upset because I had just gotten this phone and I had just gotten in a contract, a new contract. So hopefully this will make everyone be able to hold on until their contracts expire or just hold on for a while until they are allowed to upgrade or they can afford a Windows Phone 8 device.